Welcome, this is Peter Call from Neutronics Refrigerant Analysis and today I'm here with Zachary Ziegler. We're going to show you how to use the Neutronics RI2004DXP refrigerant identifier to test this 2002 Volvo. When we open up the case, inside we'll find the base instrument, thank you. We'll find the service hoses, both R12 and 134A. Zach will take those. We've got the battery clips. We've got a tank adapter for testing a 134A tank. And finally the operating instructions. So we'll get this guy out of the way. We're going to take our battery clips out of the package. Now this unit is available with an optional AC adapter or an optional internal rechargeable battery kit. Uh, the base unit does not include those. We'll take and we'll plug these, plug this into the power socket on the back of the unit and we'll connect it to the battery clips to the car battery. One note that Zach's going to be doing the heavy lifting here so he's got his, his gloves and his safety glasses on. I'm just kind of the mouth of the organization. Make sure we get plus to plus and minus to minus. We'll take and we'll connect the hose to the back of the unit. We'll push the power button, that'll turn the unit on. And we'll press the calibrate button. It'll take 30 seconds to calibrate, 30 seconds to test. As a reminder, this unit is certified to SAE J1771 for both R12 and 134A service. Always make sure that the hose is disconnected from the vehicle when the calibration is taking place. And always connect to the low side vapor port. Never try to connect to the high side. On some Volvos like this one, you may have only one service port, so they can be troublesome but on the vast majority of cars you're going to have a high side and a low side so you're good to go. So calibration's all done. Zach's going to connect the service hose to the service port. Make sure it's clipped on nice and firm. And we'll press the 134A button. The test will take 30 seconds. It allows refrigerant to come, a very small amount of refrigerant, to come from the low side vapor port into the analyzer. We test to see what the quality is. We also look to see if there's any excess air in the system. And as soon as we're all done, we'll disconnect from the car and then we'll have the option to print out the test results. This car does belong to an employee here at Neutronix, so I imagine he's hoping for the best and while well, he got lucky today, we are a pass with 100% 134A and no air. Disconnecting. We can disconnect. We'll press the more button. That gives us the option to print and shows us the detailed test results. We have 100% 134A with 0% R12, R22, hydrocarbons, and no air. So that's a good thing. Zach will put the service port back on, or the uh, cap on the service port. We'll print out the test results. We want to make sure that you print two sets of test results, one for you for your records and a second one for the customer to attach to their receipt. As with any service, you want to be able to charge for this service. It's a necessary part of doing proper air conditioning work before you recover the refrigerant. And there we have our test results. We'll now take the opportunity to turn the unit off and we'll disconnect it. Grab the hose here and disconnect that. We'll exit. We'll power off. We'll disconnect from the vehicle battery. And we're all set. Peter Call and Zachary Ziegler from Neutronics Refrigerant Analysis, thank you very much. Have a great day.